Alright guys, this is where we left it last time. Um, what we're going to do here is use the slide tool. If you haven't seen that before, it requires us to be in points mode, so jump into there. Um, you see we've still got hundreds of these old points from our body which we deleted, so we'll optimise that. So selection, select all and optimise. Um, they get rid of all those. Um, what you can see here is we've got these points here. Um, basically this points are parts a bit fiddly. What we're going to do is right click and select a point and grab the slide tool. Um, with this you can slide points along your geometry lines that you've got in. Uh, so what we're going to do is just create the rough shape. Um, oops, I probably should have checked how it looked before I started. Um, I'll just make something rough. Um, I'm sure you can go and select something a bit better shape than this, more like the shape we're actually wanting. Uh, you can see I'm just bringing all these top points down a little. Um, we are going to align these as we go. I'm just moving them down a bit so we get a bit of a gap in there between this part here and that part there. Um, I can bring that down a little, that down a little. And same on the bottom here. I'm just trying to create a rough shape. Um, right up to there. That up to there. Um, I'll bring this one in a bit. Um, now that we've got that there, we can sort of start working on our shape. Uh, we'll select all these top points here. And to align them, we just change their Y value. If you set that to zero, that'll align all the points. into a straight line across there and select that point, that point, that point, and that point, and that point, we'll just align those as well. And we'll align that one there with that one there. And you can see here our shapes coming along. Um, it's the area through here we're looking at. Um, should set that to zero. They're all at zero, so that's fine. I'm um, going to want to do the same thing down here, create roughly the same shape or the reverse, but I think it is in the um, actual model, um, just back onto these points here, grab your slide tool and slide them down. As you can see I'm just being very rough about it and just align them all again. Once you've got them into the right sort of place, um, I'll pause here while I get my shape in there I'm happy with. And then we'll jump back and I'll show you how to finish them off. Alright, so as you can see I have roughly one odd. I've got a funny shape through here and a, another funny shape through here. Um, what we're going to do is just jump into our polygon mode and we'll select the polygons we actually want, which is that band there and this band here. And we're going to make a selection set. Um, so, selection, set selection, um, name that to blue panels or something equally exciting. And just drag up our blue material onto there and your selection set down as usual. Um, what we're also going to do with these panels now that we've got them here, because they'll actually be sitting at the same level as 
Um, our body underneath, and you get some weird patterning coming through. I'm um, just going to extrude those a little. And take a value of about 0.1. They're actually now sitting out 0.1 of a meter, um, which is a fairly tiny amount past our unit. Um, we can drag this down into our body objects now. And if we jump into perspective view, You can see we've got now got our blue panels on there. Just like that. If you want them to stick out a bit more, you can um, just extrude them out a bit. Um, you can extrude them out, say, two. And you can always grow your selection and put a black edge so it looks like our other panels up here. That's just um, U and Y to expand them. Deselect your front ones. And make a selection set and put your, pop your back material on there. Um, you can see I've done that very badly, so I won't actually do that. Um, yeah, so once you have your black edging on your panels, um, you can leave it there. We'll come back and we'll start looking at replacing these two side panels here next up. They're not very hard, this is an extrude, and that'll give you the ability to do that one, and 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 you've got some around the back as well, so you can just work out some pattern for there. Um, yeah, once we have that done, we'll put these weird-looking vent things here.